It was a, a very difficult and different time 30 years ago when, when we really were working with people who were dying with AIDS. And uh, it's been great to see the progress to, to, to now be really and truly when people come to us, they really are living with AIDS and living with HIV. They do, most people don't, don't progress to AIDS. Uh, we're getting people into treatment sooner. We're doing a lot more prevention work with youth in particular. Uh, so I feel like we've made a great contribution and I want us to think that we've saved thousands of lives in our 30 years because of our prevention effort. And I know we've provided a lot of care and service and comfort to those who have died in those 30 years. So it's looking backwards and looking forward you know, we're now in the, we're, we're, we're on the brink of expanding our services to people with other chronic diseases. The state has initiated this whole new Help Home initiative, and we're going to be part of that initiative. Uh, and I feel really good to know that the city and the county, who are both represented here, support, have always supported this agency. I'd like to have Dr. Cynthia Morrow come up and speak to us a little bit, the director of the, of the Commissioner of Health for Adelaide County. It's, it's so lovely to be here, primarily to celebrate Michael and his organization's 30 years of service to our community. We have made tremendous strides in HIV AIDS. It's incredible when we look back 30 years of what we were dealing with, and as Michael said, people are no longer dying of HIV AIDS. They're living with it. But unfortunately, we still have to work really hard on our prevention, and that's something that we need everybody to work on, and, and organizations like AIDS Community Resources. Community. If we look at what's happened with gonorrhea, we are now at rates that are two times what they were um, only two years ago. We really have a problem with um, sexually transmitted diseases, and it's so important for us to work together as a community to prevent these preventable outcomes. Um, on behalf of the county executive, Joni Mahoney, I'm so glad to be here to be part of the celebration of AIDS Community Resources and to really get out there, paint, paint the town, Red, um, and work together with the city, county agencies, and of course our community-based agencies to do whatever we can to prevent the next case of HIV, AIDS, gonorrhea, or chlamydia. So thank you so much. Thank you, Cynthia. The county does a great job here, and they got their hands full. Um, speaking of having our hands full, uh, Stephanie Miner, our mayor, I'm happy to say has been a great supporter of AIDS Community Resources, a progressive voice in so many areas. Uh, I'm thrilled to have her here supporting us today. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Dr. Morrow. Uh, I am just thrilled to be here to help celebrate the 30th anniversary of such a um, terrific organization that serves the people of our community. And th it's really heartening to know that your organization has gone from helping people to learn to from dying with AIDS to now living with AIDS. And now another part, too, that all along we've said is very important is prevention. And of course, knowledge is prevention, and as Michael and the others from AIDS Community Resources will tell you, it is a very difficult topic to talk about sex. But we have to talk about it in a way that is professional, in a way that helps people understand about the choices they make and the risks that they take. And there is no organization that has done that in a more straightforward, professional, and frankly helpful way than AIDS Community Resources. So, as a testament to their 30 years, I want to congratulate them on doing that and thank you for helping our community live and celebrate all that there is to celebrate. In honor of the AIDS Community Resources 30th anniversary, uh, the county executive and I uh, proclaimed that the 28th day of May is Paint the Town Red Day believe in making sure that everybody has the knowledge and information to make healthy decisions and the right decisions. So again, let me just add my voice in congratulating them and thanking them for all the service that you provide.